Hello and welcome to learn Microtik configuration series tutorial number one. In this series, we will learn all about Microtik router from basic to advanced materials to help you build your own network with Microtik router. I will not go into the details on theory here, rather we will focus on practical stuff more. But for better understanding, you have to carry out learning theories on your own. Ok, let's start with tutorial number one. In this video, I am going to show you initial configuration of Microtik router. But before we configure the router, you need to know how to connect your router with your PC or your laptop. You need to have Ethernet cable to connect your router from your PC or your laptop. And if you don't have Microtik router, I recommend you to buy a cheaper one like Haplite RB941. I have this one too for testing stuffs. You'll find this router in your local computer shop, I hope. Try to buy one for learning things practically. Okay, let's see a picture here. This is a Microtik RB450. You can see a number of ports here, Ethernet 1 to Ethernet 5. When you configure the router for the first time, you need to connect your Ethernet cable from your PC to any port of this router except Ether 1. The reason why you must not connect your cable to port 1 is that the port 1 by default is not allowed to configure router. It is blocked by firewall setting which prevent the router to configure from port 1. Just remember that, don't connect the Ether 1 port when you configure for the first time. Next I am going to show you initial configuration. But first you need a software, it called Winbox software. It's a graphical tool which you can use on your Windows machine. You can easily configure your router by this tool. And to download this software, you have to go to their official website, microtik.com slash download. I'll show you from my web, from my browser, microtik.com slash download. You can see Winbox here. Just click on it. It will download automatically on your PC. After you download, you just go to your download folder and just double click on it and click run. I have already downloaded mine. You can see this, this software looks like this. If it doesn't show here the IP address and MAC address, you just click on refresh button. It will show automatically. You can see IP address is 192.168.88.1. It means this router is factory default router. It has never been used before. So when you see this 192.168.88.1, you, you just know that this is a new router and factory default router. But if you see IP address other than 192.168.88.1, you have to hard reset the router. Because you don't know the password, someone else has already configured this router. I will discuss how to hard reset the router later in the series. Okay, for the first time, it is better to connect the router with MAC address. It's a feature of Microtik router. You can connect the router by MAC address. When you click on the MAC address, it will show in the connect to field. And Microtik default username is admin and no password password is blank so you just click on connect it will connect to the router as it is for the first time entering the router to configure it will ask you if you want to keep the default configuration but we will not do it we will remove the default configuration and set it manually by ourselves so click on the remove configuration here so the router will disconnect again it will reset and reconnect automatically if it doesn't show we don't have to worry we'll just connect again now you can see the IP address is 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 .0. it means we have reset the configuration of this of this router successfully again we have to connect the router with MAC address username admin default password no password 
connect now we have to start from the scratch first I will show you how to set IP address and gateway address in this video we will learn more and more in the upcoming videos to set your IP address that you got from your internet provider or from the ISP you have to click on your IP and uh, addresses click on plus sign to add new address ok I will set mine got this from my internet provider you have to put a slash notation here and usually we assign internet IP or one IP to either one port just click on apply and then ok after we set our one IP or internet IP we just comment it out now we are going to assign a local address for our LAN this is the address that will be the gateway of your PC or laptop your local networks gateway again we have to click on the plus sign you can assign any private IP address here class A, B or C address we usually use class C address 192.168.1.1 1 .1 slash 24 now we have to assign the port other than ether1 because we already assigned the ether1 port for the internet click on the apply ok comment it out local address now we have to set our gateway address here again we go to the IP and then routes this one is the gateway address that was provided by your internet provider you just keep the destination addition as it as it is 0.0.0, .0, .0 slash 0 it means any destination IP it could be Facebook or YouTube any IP but you set your gateway address here 72.16.10.254 apply ok now we were going to test if our configuration is working to go to the new terminal you can find it here in the left window new terminal ping the google public dns which is 8.8.8.8 .8 is .8 .8. outside IP you can see we are getting the reply from Google DNS it's just work as it is our configuration is done here I hope you learned the basic configuration how to set your one and LAN IP and gateway address to connect with internet in the next video we will learn how to connect your local network PC to the internet Till then, goodbye. Thanks for watching.